We are Susie and Rolls. That's short for Roland, by the way. Enchanté. Follow our lives renovating a 15th century chateau and citadel. Together with our rescue fur babies, Big Baxter, Mad Max and little Lexi our beaver. Welcome back to the Citadel, another vlog. Um, they seem to come around quicker and quicker these vlogs, but never mind. Basically, I'm trying to clean all this black off um, in preparation for us installing our log burner. So here's the log burner under here. Um, I had a little go the other day with what I thought was a cement cleaner, but I wasn't sure because the label on the top was, um, was past it really. Um, and that's come up, but it's still grubby. But of course, I've been looking online and a uh, number of you mentioned in the comments after uh, Wednesday's vlog, which was Thursday's in the end, um, use baking soda and water or a mixture of baking soda and bleach water or vinegar or whatever. So I've looked at it online and I've done a mix. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and then wait about 20 minutes and then see if I can scrub it off. Failing that, if I can't clean it satisfactorily, then I have my rotary um, sander and that's got a metal wire brush wheel on it. Which, uh, and that'll take it all off. I'm trying to avoid it just because of the dust. Um, I have lots of polythene sheets so I could actually mask, mask it all up and, and close myself, but it's gonna be a messy old job. So I'm gonna give it one chance, one more chance with a cleaner and then um, go from there really. Okay, well I'm not gonna take any risks with this stuff. I've mixed it up, baking soda, water. I've put a bit of bleach in there for the extra cleaning. So I'm gonna brush this on and see what happens. There were various recipes online. Some of them said, well, make it a runny mixture. Others said, you know, you want a bit of like a paste like consistency. Uh, I've gone for the runny mixture. Whether that's good, bad or not, I don't know because I've never done this before. Okay, well that's that mix used up. Um, what I did notice as it was running down, it was getting dirtier and dirtier, so it's obviously taking off the surface dirt with it. Um, okay, well, I've got to wait 10 minutes, so 10, 15 minutes, but of course that's already had five. So, wait and see really. Okay, I've never been one to wait around for long, so whilst I'm waiting, I've got a little job to do, which will only take me 10 minutes, and that concerns our gate. And I shall show you exactly what I mean. This is not our gate, by the way, <laughs> obviously. And Max is determined, as usual, to get in there somewhere. Hello Max, you going to say hello to everyone?
Okay, so the problem is uh, this lock here, it's become really stiff. Uh, it doesn't work from this side. It works from the other side uh, with the key, but from this side, I'm struggling to do anything. And of course that keeps coming off. Um, the reason is because it's actually meant for an interior door, not an exterior door, like a gate. Um, which is bizarre because I'm gonna replace it with an interior one. Um, and the reason is these gates, they're just rickety and horrible. They're not worthy of this place, really. They've just been cobbled together with some um, tongue and groove or something. So the plan will be to get rid of these gates and, and put something more ornate on uh, in the next year or two. So I don't want to spend any money whatsoever on these gates. So that's why I'm taking, I've taken that lock off the door because we don't use it anyway. And I'm going to put it on here and hopefully it's going to be a straight replacement. And just save me a bit of hassle um, if not I don't want to spend the money but I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to do something but uh, I'm sure this lock will be fine There you go, quick uh, five minute bodge, but it works. Right, well that's done. So back to this and I've got some hot water with a little bit of vinegar in and uh, let's see what happens. As I said in the midweek episode, I'm not looking. I'm not looking to get this brand new. You know, I want some history in this, um, but I don't want it looking the best it is. So I'm hoping this will work. But if it doesn't, we've we've got the electric tools. water I'll do this half then I'll come back and do this half I thought well I'll just get some clean water should be safe to dispense with the goggles for this bit It's always difficult to tell at this stage because it's wet and the damp will have soaked through into the brick and it's still got some surface black on where I've been rubbing it. But I can definitely see more red of the bricks. Um, whether this is the best and quickest way, I don't know. It's not taking long, you know, it took me five minutes to put the solution on. It took me about five, ten minutes to rub that down, so it's not. It's not taking a massive amount of time, uh, but it's certainly an easier cleanup. So I think what I'll do, I may have left that too long this side now to remove, but I'll try and remove that. If not, I'll mix up another solution and try and do that. Um, and I think I'll go over it again with some more solution. I think it's worth doing another one. Okay, well that's looking a lot different. Um, what what I did was obviously just seeing me wiping it off, 
Uh, but of course, I'm still just moving grime around. So I put another coat of the um, uh, baking soda uh, solution on, uh, waited 15 minutes, and then just uh, using a spray bottle, I rinsed it off. And that's got rid of a lot of the dirt that I've been moving around. And as you can see, there's a lot more red now. Uh, and of course, that'll get better as it dries. Um, the red will really stand out more. So I think that's the approach. I've scrubbed enough of the ground in stuff um, and really baked on carbon, if you like. I've, I've scrubbed as much as I can on that. I think I'm just going to keep... Um, I might spray another coat of the um, baking soda on it um, and then just rinse it off again and, and see if it takes any more off. Uh, but that's sort of getting a little bit more towards where we want it. Um, and I, I'm quite happy with the black streak up the middle there. Obviously, the flue will be in front of that as well. Um, but it is it is showing the history, and it's not looking particularly dirty now. So we're getting there, and it's not really taking much effort. Um, I think I was scrubbing it. Uh, I scrubbed that little patch the other day for about 15 minutes, and I've spent about 25 minutes today scrubbing. So mixing up, so, you know, I've, I've only spent an hour on it so far, and it's already coming up nicely. So that's that I'm pleased with. Now, the other thing I want to do, you can see the mantelpiece, which is wood, and you can see this little patch here, um, which I think I remember just taking a little bit of sanding, sanding paper to that when we first moved in, just to see if it was going to take much clearing, cleaning up. And it didn't take a lot at all. So I need to clean the mantelpiece. We want to get that back to its natural wood. Um, I don't mind if it's a little bit dark here in places, but I think it'll look nice, quite natural and oiled up. Uh, the other thing is this the granite here. There's obviously signs of uh, black on there, but also it looks as though somebody's um, painted it at some point. Um, again, I want to try and avoid sanding it all if I can. Uh, I might just take a little area down low and, and see what the bicarbonate soda does to that. I don't want to stain it. I don't. I don't know whether it would stain it or not. But I don't want to spray the whole thing and then find out I've you know done something terribly wrong. So I'm going to try that now and see where we end up. Right, I've left the fireplace overnight. Um, it's dr still drying, there's a lot of drying to be done. Um, this side's still a bit darker than this. This has got quite a lot of the red brick now. Uh, but I'm hoping that the drying will um, will still carry on and lighten that and uh, will expose a bit more of the red. Uh, so yeah, that's getting there, but We'll know a little bit more later today, really, when it's thoroughly dried out, because there was a lot of water on there, and these bricks soak up the water, so it's all got to now come out. But in the meantime, I want to start rubbing this down now. Um, oh, no. I can't remember how quick that was by hand, but if I can do it by hand, all the better. Um, It'll just save all the dust floating around in this kitchen. If it takes me a bit longer to do, I'd rather do that, and then all the dust will come down here. It's an easy clean up. If I need to, I've got a couple of sanders. I've got one of these little mouse sanders, um, which won't create as much dust, or I've got my orbital sander, which will create a lot of dust, even with a um, vacuum cleaner attachment on it. But anyway, I'm gonna see if I can clean this up by hand, and That'll look lovely then. Okay. I'm gonna be here all day. <laughs> 
So I've got to get the sand out. Um, so I'll have to get some dust sheets. dust off and that gives you a kind of a little clue as to how it's going to look once we've oiled it a couple of darker areas well one or two darker areas but it's just years and years of aging and years of smoke it's just got right in there really but I'm, I'm okay with that I'm very happy with that in fact don't want it to look new there's nothing about this house which is going to look new <laughs> well certainly this part of it anyway I suspected when Susie said she needed to buy some interlining that I'd end up in a drapery shop with her. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What have I become? <laughs> 10 a metre. Is that good? I don't know, because I used to buy mine wholesale, so... Oh, right. I don't know. That was a few years ago, honey. Yeah, it was. Well, this is one curtain I've unpicked. Um, I w did wash them beforehand, and the reason for that is um, I didn't want it to fray. So if I unpicked it beforehand, it may have frayed at the edges or the bottoms. Um, I had a bit of a dilemma because I've got one and a half widths on each curtain, and I think I'm going to take the half width off the other curtain and join it to the other side here because... Um, I can't get this fabric anymore and then if I need some for something else I've still got a whole width left to use instead of two half widths if that makes sense um, so I've ironed it all I managed to wash them and get them mostly dry yesterday which was the only dry day we've had all week really um, they were slightly damp but that was actually better for ironing although because I've had them so long, it's hard to get some of the creases out. But I think once they're gathered up, it won't show anyway. So, better do the next one. So I'm taking this palmet apart um, to put a false heading on the curtain. I was going to do a false hem, but the curtain's about an inch, well the fabric's about an inch too short. I want it to drape on the floor to stop any drafts. So if I put a false heading on, um, where the join is, you won't see it because it's going to be pinch pleated. So it you'd have to look hard to
Okay, so Susie's happy with the mantelpiece. I'm happy with it. So we're going to wax that, uh, give it a clean and wax it. Um, but in the meantime, I've got to look at this uh, granite because it's looking rather sorry for itself. Um, now, for some bizarre reason, there's lots of paint all over it. So I think at some point in its history, it's been painted. And um, the fireplace that's in our tower room has also got paint all over it. So, so that's uh, there's remnants of it up and down this pillar here. It's not looking too great. Anyway, I've just done this piece up here, just this panel. Um, I sprayed it with some of the um, bicarbonate of soda uh, solution, uh, weighted, and got a wire brush on it. And just to compare it, we'll look at the other pillar, which I haven't touched. And you can see there's a bit of paint here. That's just the chip, um, the corner's been chipped off it. Uh, but it's quite dark and grey and dirty. Uh, whereas this one's actually come up okay. And there were quite a few bits of uh, paint on it. So I'm going to work my way down this pillar first and on the inside. See if I can clean it up and get as much of this... Um, paint off as I can and dirt on the inside.